Yeah. Yeah. Friend zone. Ken, are you? Your life alone. Pick up the phone and call a friend for friend zone. We don't have the rights. <laughs> that should be our new song. Somebody please cut that so we can yeah. make that uh, our. We don't have the. Song. We don't have the rights to that, Ken. That, we're gonna um, buy the rights. I bought the rights uh, while I was waiting. In the oh, house. thank God! Thank you so much. Um, how are you, buddy? And where are you? Are you in Los Angeles, California? I'm in Los Angeles. I'm in California. I'm at my house. I'm in an office in my house in Los Angeles, California. I'm going to tell you this much, Ken. You've been on the show a handful of times. The first time you called from your office, it looked like you were calling from the toilet. And now you're in the same space, but it looks much more like an office now. Uh, there's bookshelves there. There's some artwork up. Before, it looked, it had the stark wall of a, a really beautiful-looking bathroom. And, and now, yet, and yet, I'm I'm taking a hot dump in my bathroom. Oh, is, is that true? From. Friend zone. zone. Friend zone. Don't you live your life alone in friend zone? Hey, Do you, have you uh, guys have you guys seen each other um, since your TV show wrapped, Black Monday? That might have been the last time we saw each other in person. I think. Okay, uh, it's possible. Because yeah, you know, remember. Ken, d- it, Paul, was, it was a, it was a delight to. to well, to, yeah, to we Ken and show, I, Paul. Ken and I, literally shot the last scene of the last episode, uh, and the last shot of the night. That was it. It was around like two or three in the morning uh, on a Saturday night. I was leaving to go to Hawaii the next morning because I respect myself and uh love to have a vacation and uh it was a great way to end the I it was like a great... just i feel like you just you t- you set up this story to brag about a trip to Hawaii. love to take vacations uh but no it was a great way to end that show uh because uh what a great it, you know when ken's on set it, it's it's you're getting gold all the time he's the best the funniest yeah. that's very nice of you to say ken. um and so good on the show people did ask and this is an interesting question only because I know the answer to it, but I want to break it down. People said, Ken, do you get paid double because you were twins in Black Monday? And I know that that's a ridiculous question. No, you got paid your normal rate. But does it cross your mind? Like, I should be getting paid more. I'm doing more work. I have to create yeah. two separate characters. Like, is that a ridiculous thing to think? Oh, I hands down, without question, ask to be paid double. <laughs> All right, that's what. And what did they? Want. Yeah, what did, what did they say? I was playing two characters. Yes. Was, uh, uh, so I, so I, I, I had two uh, lines of the call sheet. I don't think I did. But um, you did. You did, did have two lines in the call sheet. I know yeah. you did because your characters not all they didn't always appear together. So they had so, they weren't like yeah they weren't the same name. It was two separate characters. They agreed. Ultimately, they did agree to pay me uh, for each character, but they paid me half of my fee. Oh, you see now that person. that's the way they get around it. <laughs> I did. There's always um, a way to get around it. You know what I mean? I did a show on Netflix, no big deal. I can afford Netflix called Murderville, wow. where I played tw- uh, triplets in uh, in an episode, and I I did get paid three times. Yeah, wow. I saw you. I saw you in that episode, and yeah. it was delightful to see you play all three characters. Thank yeah, you're you. very Thank good. You people, some people say Rob nuanced, yeah. nuanced, nuanced. But some people say Thank best you. episode of Murderville. I've heard it said mm. uh, numerous times. Well, thanks, I guys. Would definitely, I would definitely say that. I would also thanks, say guys. it's the only one I watched. Have oh. you submitted yourself for <laughs> the FY? <laughs> Have you submitted yourself for Emmy consideration as three different actors? I, I yeah, I had to pick uh, one one of the of the triplets to submit, wow. and yeah, and then the other triplets had to submit him. Wow, so that, that is uh, it was complicated. Smart. Yeah, I would love to do like a. Uh, an ad campaign. If I had like disposable income to the degree where you could buy like full page ads, like remember Melissa Leo gave that amazing performance and then like made her own ad. It was basically like, why not pick me? Great actress. Amazing. But it was like, I like the, I, I would like the idea that one of your characters would buy an ad for another character. Be like working with Rob Hubel was one of the best experiences of my life. Rob Hubel. Well, you know, uh, you know, Ken, in all seriousness, um, I did a show maybe uh, two years ago with Mark Ruffalo, your friend, Mark Ruffalo. 
Yes. And um, I mean, and he and he played uh, he played twins. Uh, it was called I Love I Know This Much Is True on HBO, and he won like all these Emmys and you know awards because people love twins. So I wouldn't be surprised if you do get some kind of award going. Hmm. I don't think there's a can. I don't think there's a connection there. I, I think, I, Mark, I, I think yeah. Mark Ruffalo won because he's a very very good actor. Everyone yeah. knows him as Thor. Yeah. You know, uh, well, actually, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, actually, yeah. guys, I just Googled it. I think it's not Thor. I think they changed it. All right. That's Danny yeah, DeVito as Thor. Yeah, just yeah, he Googled may it. be Spider Man or one of the. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, um, <laughs> I'm thinking that honestly, can there's a really big missed opportunity. I want to talk to Erica about this. Uh, oh, uh, she's it, not here. Oh, geez. All right. Well, because in Burning Love, I think Mark Orlando should have been a twin. Oh, like, my Mark God. Mark Orlando. Oh, yes. there it is. Yes. The Okay, now Ken, if we're gonna get into burning love, the internet's gonna blow up. People love burning love. Uh, uh, Erico Yama, who Ken is 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 lucky enough to be married to, wrote uh, uh, a burning love. Writer, hilarious person, super uh, funny yeah. writer, and independent of Ken, does not need Ken at all. I uh, no sure. no offense, Ken, but your wife does not need you. No offense um, taken. <laughs> And she did uh, Burning Love. I, I wonder why we didn't. We should have done a reunion over the pandemic. Some sort, you know, when everybody was trotting out their like uh, reunion shows. I feel like we should have done a reunion. Well, look, you know, the pandemic's not officially over. It's you know, some would say it's starting there. all again. <laughs> yeah. Let's, you know, maybe let's cross our fingers. Maybe there's a mutation that's really gonna get. <laughs> Get real. The TV, if get a, if the TV in industry, again. the TV industry is cranking out these mutations. Can we get a variant just to get another reunion special? Um, I will say that I was talking about this the other day. You know, uh, Burning Love came out. On... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy, Ken. Easy on those whoa, chair whoa. spins. Easy. I didn't mean to throw you off. I, th I figured you just, <laughs> you've seen that before. And I know. I, I liked it. it. I haven't seen it. Burning Love came out on Yahoo TV. It was a streamer. Which it was odd because Yahoo wasn't. It was just an interesting place to be. They I thought were it came out to, on E. Didn't it come out on E? That it moved to E, but it started oh. out on Yahoo. And I remember, and I was talking to somebody about this. The comments on Yahoo were as if the show was a real show, and people were getting very upset yeah. about the drama. Do you remember that, Ken? That people were like upset about who was getting kicked off and why. Oh, hold on one second. My daughter just uh, uh, started my car. Hold on one second. Oh, and, wait, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I, I was talking about this to somebody else. Like, I'm trying Yahoo. to do the math yeah. on this. I, I know Ken has a Tesla because he loves to text me uh, tips about the Tesla. Right. So his, his daughter must have gone into his phone and started his <laughs> car. <laughs> that is um, so funny. Well, we can do the show without Ken, you know? I mean... We could just. Well, I mean, yeah, we could always. I mean, but we love having. Yeah. Hey, when he comes back oh, on, I'm there. Here. Hey, <laughs> how did that go yeah, down? I, what did you? What did you do? So my daughter wanted to have a conversation with somebody uh, privately, and, and so she went in my in my car, and I uh, set it up, and I put the AC on. But then I guess if you leave the car, the alarm goes off. Oh, Ken, okay. can I can I ask you a question? I was just saying that you and I. I, don't, I mean, if you if you can't ask me a question here, where can you ask me a question? Well, you would argue it's the place to ask you questions. This <laughs> is where you ask questions. Well, I, you know, I preface it with that to give you time to start thinking about. I've already. I'm already. It's already answer. percolating. It's already. I'm already working on <laughs> okay. it. Okay. Um, in the Tesla. Um, because you know, you talked me into getting one. Um, and I've mixed it. Doesn't sound feeling... like you like it. No, I do. You, I do. I, I love. Have the you car. guys I been just... hitting the fart function a lot? <laughs> yeah, I love Always. the. I I love the car. I just hate Elon Musk so much that I feel whatever. Um, but here's my real question: How do I leave my daughter in the car and walk away wow. without someone stealing my daughter? Do you know what I'm talking about? Because if you leave your phone in the car like my daughter wants to play a game on you know on on my phone so i'll leave her in there go inside the pizza place get a piece of pizza for her. i'm a great parent and come back out but you know if someone okay yeah so uh, look i'm not condoning this but there yeah. is a mode called dog mode where you put it on dog mode it keeps the ac going the okay. doors are locked 
on the screen it says don't worry about me it's a little doggy or something and it says i uh, it's in dog mode it's 68 degrees in here or 70 degrees in here so okay so that's dog mode. what the, dog mode okay and so but so when you put you, it in park when you put yeah. it in park yeah uh, go up to the right of your screen and you'll see uh dog mode Okay, can I ask you a question? Do By the way, you should change it to yes, kid mode. Yes, of course too. you can ask me a question. Okay, stop getting upset about that. <laughs> Do you think my daughter is a dog? No, no, no. Okay. All right. Well, let me let me ask you this, Ken. <laughs> I want it. I want to get your I want to get your opinion on this uh, screen rant. A very popular. Are you going to ask me a question? Uh, well, I want don't, your opinion. Paul, I'm don't ask, ask him his opinion. Don't, don't get his opinion. He gets pissed. Okay, a I couple of months ago. Before you ask that question, I want to ask you a question before the alarm went off, which is, yes, there were people on Yahoo leaving comments that they thought it was real, but there were also a big section of the people who really loved the show and understood it, and, and it was of great. Of course. I think the show itself was sort of ahead of its time as far as, like, if we did it five years later on, a, on something other than Yahoo, yeah. more people would have seen it. And I then mean, it, it did was, go to E!, and yeah. and people on who watched it on E definitely thought it was a well a lot more but, people thought it was a real show which was weird yeah the, 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 there's the, the, something the, about it yeah so go ahead well no just the issue is that the platform was Yahoo which is you know that's like USA Today it's just a bunch of dum dums um you know well in America. literally people use Yahoo as at that point people were using Yahoo Yahoo people were using Yahoo as their like opening page like when you open up your computer that would be the page but let let me be clear. The show was a giant hit. Yeah. Uh, like there were other shows around it that seemingly cost so much more money and didn't get even a quarter of the attention that Burning Love. Like Burning Love was a complete phenomenon. But when you would get in those comments, people were not recognizing Michael Sarah, who was on Arrested Development and just thinking he was a guy. And I think it's a funny, <laughs> weird thing when you because at that point, a lot of people you might know them from comedy, but if you're on E, it's not really crossing over in the right ways. So you're like, oh right. yeah, this is a nice fireman who is looking for love and uh, and God bless, you know? I'm my in for the my show. favorite memory of that was you promoting it at Comic-Con dr <laughs> dress, dressed as Mark Orlando. And, and for people that don't know Ken, Ken is famously in shape all the time. Like, I don't know Looking how you good. do it, but Ken is always like, ripped and so when he was doing mark orlando he was like doubly like just his fucking stomach was like crack 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 crack. oh it was amazing he, like when you have a body that good you got to run around in a fireman's outfit in the oh, of oh San yeah Diego. And to be clear guys, to be clear to be clear it was just the it was just the fireman pants and then yeah. no shirt and suspenders and Ken was going around Comic Con handing out like flyers or something for and the show. And dancing, it was great. It was the best. It um, was so amazing. There and it is. There it is. There right it is. There. <laughs> I love it. Look, I mean, look at the Ken. Your fucking body. I would pay money to eat and cere it, cereal if I could put cereal on your body and just well, eat it off. Right, again, that's oh, not a question, Rob. You can't say that. Uh, my question to you, uh, Ken is uh, Screen Rant, the website, just a couple of months ago, um, rated your best uh, movies uh, as ranked by IMDb. They said, these are Ken Marino's oh, best God. movies. And this I wanted you, do you want to know what your number, according to IMDb, your highest rated movie that you are in, what do you think it is? Uh, uh, either Gattaca or Tortilla Soup. Wow, interesting. Very close. Gattaca comes in at number two, mm -hmm. but number one is a film called, and I've never heard of this, and I now must see it, Jeffy Was Here. What? <laughs> Jeffy Was Here is Ken Marino's highest rated movie on IMDb from the early 2010s. It follows the story of a couple who takes a road trip with an unlikely guest. Um, and uh, All Ken three Marino of the movies Roger. that we... All all three of the movies that we just mentioned, I'm in for a like a, like five seconds. <laughs> I will tell you these are your top four. Number four, Love for Rent, a movie I did I did not I I felt like I was familiar with your your body of work. I've never heard of. Ken Love does for not Rent. remember. He's trying to remember Love for Rent. You can uh, read. I, I remember play, now. I remember. You now. play. Uh, Sophia is that an Adopter. adult? Is, is that an adult film? That sounds like an adult film. 
uh, I mean, it's it's for it's for adults in that everybody in it has uh, graphic sex. <laughs> um, the one that makes the most sense of, of this list, I would argue, is is coming in at uh, number three. We are the Millers, right? A big hit movie, big got that. Then it goes to Gattaca, which I don't remember you in Gattaca. Is, but... is Wet Hot on the list or Role Models? Or those were Wet, Hot, Wet, Hot, Wet Hot got terrible reviews. Wet Hot, <sighs> Wet Hot was it became, and then became a cult uh, favorite, yeah. but it, it, I don't think the Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, are, are, I think it's got a lot of Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> I love that everything that we think is funny, like just America's is like, I, I, I didn't get it. But I it's grown it. on people. It's, yeah. It's no, actually, no. Wet, wet Hot has is, become like a Yeah, you know, Wet Hot is amazing. It's a loved amazing. thing. Um, what, uh, uh, Gattaca, I, I, uh, I had, uh, uh, I, I think I could do my lines. Do it. Uh, do, uh, it yeah. do it. Set it up okay. though, because I don't I don't I don't even know what what your character yeah. does. What, Uma yeah. Thurman walks up to uh, a a a big uh, tinted window, glass uh, window. I'm behind it. You can barely see me. She gives me something, I go uh but you gotta act three, it. Don't say three it. Three point five. Act I, it. I, I go three point five for how long? And she says something, and I go, I'll see what I can do. And that's my <laughs> – and you can barely see me. You know who else is in that? Maya Rudolph is in that. Uh, and you, and she apparently she's also – you can barely see her. I think she's probably behind a screen as well or a, uh, like a tinted – Is thing. there a podcast, Paul, where it's this, where it's people – um pointing themselves out in tiny little roles i, at the I very would love i would love to do that because i i have a role that doesn't even get to be a tiny little role but it was one of the best experiences of my life at that point um i got an audition for vanilla sky and um i auditioned for it no big deal and i get a call and i never got a call i didn't have an agent i don't even know how i got this but i got a call Cameron Crow loved your audition. He wants to meet with you. And I'm like, oh my God. And I, at this point, I'm, a, I'm the biggest Cameron Crow fan. And I, I go in to meet with Cameron Crow. And I remember that whatever I, whatever that day was, I had to cancel something major with my girlfriend at the time. And that did not go over well. Like, I feel like we were going on a trip and I was like, I can't leave on that day or whatever it was because I need to meet Cameron Crow. He loves my audition. And so I go in and, uh, and Cameron Crowe says to me, like, uh, Paul, uh, I loved your audition. I had this part that I think you'd be right for. You work with Tom Cruise. Uh, he didn't say Cruise, but he said you work with Tom in the office. And uh, you, you have all the ideas. You're the young guy. And he is, you look up to him, you know, but you have this interesting relationship with him where he kind of doesn't give you all the respect that you would deserve. But you're, but he also really likes you, but he's being hard on you because he's mentoring you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, all right, so I'll give you the scene. And the scene was this, there's a line of dialogue, a line of dialogue. And it says, uh, what do you think of this? And I held up like a poster, like a cover of magazine. <laughs> what do you think of that? And Tom goes like that. That's it. So he goes, I want to do it. And I was like, oh yeah, sure. Uh, good, good, great. I'm like, what do you think of this? He's like, great. Uh, maybe do it again, and maybe you're at this point you're a little bit more you're you're, you're panic because you actually you've now you you actually put some money behind this you know this the this cover you know I'm like what do you think of this? It's like, okay, all right, um, all right, great, thank you. Did not get that part. Did not get that part. <laughs> Did not get the part, and then went to go see Vanilla Sky, the person who got the part behind a window, and just goes like this. And Tom Cruise goes, that's it. Who was it? It was another uh, like lovely character actor from New York that I was mad at for like the split second that I saw. But <laughs> it was so funny that it was one line. I couldn't, I couldn't nail it, even though he called me back. And then it was just devolved into, that was it. <laughs> just I think that's what he realized in the moment. He's like, I don't need the line. <laughs> and I don't want to trouble Paul to come in. <laughs> someone in the chat, Thank someone in the so chat much. said there was a podcast. Uh, uh, I was there too. 
was similar. Oh, to that. yes. That's a great podcast. But that is about like there's an amazing episode of that podcast. Matt Gorley, uh, one of the best. Uh yeah. It, he got everybody from the bus on speed uh, from the movie Speed <laughs> to talk about their experiences of shooting speed. Oh, and it, it is just like, that. It was just that movie. Just Oh, we, it, it's every every episode is a different movie, but this oh. he just got <laughs> okay. uh, got all the cast members from Speed uh, just yeah. the bus, and it was <clears throat> never has there been a better Rashomon than that. It's eight people with eight totally different recollections of what that movie was and how they experienced it and what happened and w- what they they all were in the same vehicle. There was no separation, and they can't tell. A similar story at all it's a beautiful well episode. i bet without question all of them loved sandy b uh they love keanu a lot a lot more a lot more i mean not there was no there was no negativity to sandy but it was a lot more love for how down to earth uh keanu was ken are you well, insane like eating, are you eating in sandy soup b? with them are you in sandy b on those terms where you call her sandy b i'd like to be <laughs> i'd like to sandy b Ken, oh stop making jokes. Look, we have to get serious because this is the part of the show I'm not good oh. at seg- I'm not great at segues uh, where I know you want to leave. Not even good at saying segue. I, I know you want to leave because no, I, I don't. See- I keep seeing you look at at the window. Well, he's nervous. His daughter's going to drive off to like uh, <laughs> yeah. you know the local My Burger King. Has the keys to the car. Um, okay, Ken, tell me one secret from Party Down. Ooh. Just <laughs> give me, give me. Come on, give yes. me some give me some gossip yeah. from the set. Who's in no. it? Who, is it is everybody back? I'm in it. Yeah. Everybody else is in it. Ooh. Really? Yeah. Lizzie uh, Kaplan. Is Lizzie Kaplan except back? For Lizzie, in? Except, for, except okay. for Lizzie. Okay, great. So so far, one lie. One lie and, already. Yeah. And in Megan Mullally or Jane Lynch? Both. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> um i just had i just by the way had a very crazy we were away at a wedding a wedding in which and i don't want to reveal the whole thing because i don't know if ken feels comfortable with it ken played a very major you ken played a very major part in um in the proposal of this uh this couple got married and the wedding was actually fantastic but we were away at a wedding and i got approached by this guy he's like i'm the biggest party down fan me and my wife I've been watching it. Your episode is one of my favorite episodes. Ask me a million questions about it. And then June comes up and he has been effusive about party. I'm like, you know, they're shooting a new season. And he's like, oh my God, really? I'm like, when is it going to be out? I'm like, I don't know. I know they just kind of wrapped it up. And he's like, oh, I can't wait. And then June comes over and she's like, you know, uh, I was in it. And he's like, oh, really? <laughs> and then, <laughs> and June has a much bigger part than I had on the show. And it was so funny because he was so effusive. And then when June came over, he's like, huh. Okay, I'm I'm done with you. Like it was like did not want to engage June at all. And it makes me laugh. June never ever puts herself in a position like that. And I thought she was like, you know, like, to, yeah, like this is was, a safe, this is a safe one. I, I'll say this it. guy, he'll he's know so who excited. I am. It'll be great. Yeah. He's gonna ask me a million questions. And the guy was absolutely lovely. And he's like, oh, okay. Like it Ken, was like it was, <laughs> Ken, any are there is there any gossip you can give me? Like, uh, are there are, are any romances on set? Um, any, we, any, we each and every one of us for this reboot hooked up. Whoa, what? you're every man, single all of you person at one point or another made love to one of the other people. Wow, beautiful! That is beautiful. Yeah. That yeah. is beautiful. And when I say make, when I say make love, I mean we made mm-hmm. love. Yeah. Not no no I don't mean that. I mean oh. made love. Made oh. love. Oh, I like, like that. that. You know I, mean? I like. Yeah, that. it's more like that. More like that. Yeah. Ooh. Like that. Ooh. All right. What that's is that? <laughs> that. That ended up looking <laughs> what is sad. Oh. Eggplant. Yeah. What is that? This is what just is uh, this is thinking putty, but uh, I'm sponsored by yeah. thinking putty. But it always sure looks like it a is. dick. It always looks yeah. like a dick. Um. That's and what about thinking. what about any feuds you know what i mean like uh hey th- i don't like this guy i forgot how much i hated this guy cr- all right i'm going to tell you this is, this is a scoop you guys are getting a scoop oh i love it every single person 
any a regular on the show had a fight with one of the other people. Wow. So it was what? like, intense, yeah. like Every, a, a couple's kind of fight, like that kind of real. Ugly I fought fight, with yeah. Adam. Ryan Whoa. fought with Martin. Jane, wow. Jane, wow. Jane and wow. Megan got into a fist fight. What? I mean, everybody fought. Everybody. What? Let me ask yeah. you a question, Ken. And yeah. I have a good question. I have a question after. I have a question okay. after. Okay, I got one ready to go. And then we're going to let you go. Did Adam Scott, are, are you done shooting or are you still shooting? Can I, before you ask that question, my yeah. mother always used to do this to me on the phone, right? We would talk on the phone, then, she's go, then she'll go, then she goes, I'm going to let you go. And I'm like, don't say you're going to let me go. That means oh, you want to go. That My grandma does that to me all the time. I'm I not, let you go. Go. I'm not your go. grandmother's. I'm not saying I want to go. Stop saying you're going to let me go. I have a feeling. Like my, my grandmother is 92 years old, and, and she is still under the impression that by calling New York, I am spending a trem- like almost like $20 <laughs> a minute. She's like, I know this is costing you a lot of money. I know, That's so and cute. I'm like, I'm it's gonna not. Go. <laughs> I'm going to let you go. I don't want to keep you. I don't want to use up more of your money. Okay, here's what. Here's where I was going. Right, go Is ahead, does Adam Scott now after Severance walk hmm. around like a different fucking guy? Like this I'm in the guy. best. Let me tell I'm you in something. the best show ever made. Ever, ever, ever. He wouldn't stop. Talking about severance. I knew it. Severance wow. this. Severance I knew it. that. You know on severance, we did this. Severance. You know oh. what I did on severance? So John Turturro on severance. Christopher Walken on severance. You know, is ad nauseum. Yeah. And the worst. Uh, and one of the reasons, and this is one of the reasons we made passionate love. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes that's that's what you need. That's what you need. I knew it. Um the show, any truth to the rumor. Mm-hmm. That for the, I don't know, you're calling it a reboot, a reunion, a continuation, that you are no longer cater waiters. Is that true? That you guys oh. are no longer cater waiters? You're all, yeah, yeah different professionals. Yeah, we're all doctors. We're you're all doctors. doctors. <laughs> That's called doctors. Children's Hospital. That's a show yeah. that you and I did. Is that what huh? I just shot? Oh, eggplant, <laughs> penis, droopy penis. <laughs> um. All right. Well, this has been amazing <laughs> to talk to you, oh, to be here with you. Ken. Unbelievably amazing. Ken, the, the ratings, you can't see it, but we can see it on the side. The ratings, the ratings boom, 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 are boom, like, boom, boom, boom. Paul, Paul just promoted the show in New York at the New Fronts with Roger Goodell. And we have since then. The numbers are through the roof, through the roof. Uh, off the, ch- off the I had to tell people. Roof. I'm like, we have people like Ken Marino, just to give them a taste of what just they can little, tune in. Just a little. Just a little, a little yeah. Um, all right. All right. Well, one, uh, what, this is the one thing. I, I, I like to end with this. We've done this now a handful of times. I think you would actually be a perfect person for this. Is, well, we're going to let you go after this one question. And uh, this, is not to, this is not to, I know that you're very thankful for all the people who recognize your great work. Is there one question that you can definitively answer right now that no one ever has to ask you again. Like we all are in certain worlds where uh, this, a, a question comes up time and time again. For me, uh, no matter what, the question is, hey, can I ask you something? And I know where it's going to go. Do you play fantasy football? I do. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I do oh. play. And like there a question that you're like, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I have addressed this. I've talked about it enough. This is your chance. We will package it. So you can have this now locked in like a question. So then after never, this, no one gets to ask it anymore. No one has to ever ask it again because you've definitively okay. answered the question. Oh, I know what it's going to be. I know what it's going to be. What is it going to be? Will you do, will you do dip my balls oh. in it? Yeah. Well, usually the question is, hey, I want to get my balls in it. So I don't know if that's a question. It's just a, right. it's something. You, yeah. So, and then I say, then you too, that's great. Oh, is that, that's is, that is, is, is that your, is that your answer when people say that? 
Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I don't know what to say to him. I'm like, if that's were, fantastic. If, I'm, glad, if, I'm glad I'm not alone on this. Has anyone ever said that when you were with your kids? Like, come out and said, I want to dip my balls in it. With yeah. Your, with your kids there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> was, it me? was it me? Did I do that? Yeah, Did that's I, why I'm saying. That? Yeah, you do it all the time in front of my children. I uh, The league has brought out a bunch of people who will yell, at uh members of the show and uh and and with our children and my favorite one was uh one of the the people in the show uh someone came up to them because in the show this was re referenced he's like you have a pretty dick and it was a line from the show but said in a macy's during christmas holiday shopping <laughs> uh it took on a different connotation i i've had a weird this is not a question that people ask me but um because the office is so big on Netflix, I was only, I think I was in three episodes of the office, but you know, it's just so that show is so big. And, um, my, uh, part on that show is I dated Steve Carell's girlfriend, um, Holly. And as you guys both know, my wife in real life is named Holly. So God. I would very frequently get people in airports or wherever come up to me and they would say, <laughs> You better stay the fuck away from Holly. Think, thinking that they were being funny. But, you know, when a stranger comes up and says that, like in a threatening way, I was like, Are, do you, do you, did you date my wife? Like, what? <laughs> it's a little confusing. It's so confusing. Wow. How many fights have you gotten into because of that? 11. How many times have you yelled at Holly that Just she needs to like stop tramping things. it up? Oh, no, ahead. sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, straight. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to promote Stranger Things when he yeah, said Yeah, you know, it doesn't need that. It doesn't need it's a great show. It's I just back. want people to see it. Nobody's watching. Are you in are you you're not even in it? No. You're no, I head. just want I just when I hear eleven, I immediately think eleven. You gotta, the yeah, you gotta character. promote it. Yeah. You, you gotta, gotta promote, promote it. it. Uh, Ken, Ken, it's always a pleasure to see you, and I'm sorry we kept you for so long. A plus. Uh, well let me I can, I, I'm gonna let I'm you gonna go. Let, you, <laughs> let, let, let us let you go. Let us let you go.